The Abdullah Yusuf Ali translation of the Holy Quran continues with Surturrahman, the most gracious. In the name of God, most gracious, most merciful. God, most gracious, it is he who is taught the recited, he has created humanity and has taught him speech and intelligence. The sun and the moon follow courses, exactly, computed, and the herbs and the trees, both alike, bow in adoration, and the firmament, he is raised high, and he has set up the balance of justice in order that ye may not transgress. Do no balance, so establish weight with justice, and fall not short in the balance. It is he who has spread out the earth for, uh, for his creatures. Therein is fruit and date palms producing spathes and closing dates. Also, kernels and sheaths with its leaves and stock for fodder and sweet smelling plants. Then, which of the favors of your Lord will ye deny? He created man from sounding clay. Like unto pottery, he created the hidden beings, jinn, from fire, free of smoke. So not a, not a material fire, in other words. Then which of the favors of your Lord will ye deny? Yes, Lord of the two Easts and Lord of the two Wests. Then which of the favors of your Lord will ye deny? He has let free the two bodies of flowing water meeting together between them is a barrier which they do not transgress then which of the favors of your lord will ye deny out of them come pearls and coral then which of the favors of your lord will ye deny and his are the ships sailing smoothly through the seas lofty as mountains then which of the favors of your lord will ye deny all that is on earth will perish but will abide forever the face of thy lord full of majesty bounty and honor, then which of the favors of your Lord will ye deny? Of him seeks its need. Every creature in the heavens and on earth, every day in no splendor doth he shine. Then which of the favors of your Lord will ye deny? Soon shall we sell your affairs, O both ye worlds. Then which of the favors of your Lord will ye deny? O ye assembly of hidden beings, Jen. And humans, if it be, ye can pass beyond the zones of the heavens, and the earth pass ye, not without authority, shall ye be able to pass, then which of the favors of your Lord will ye deny? On you will be sent, O oh, ye evil ones, twain, a flame of fire to burn, and the smoke to choke. No defense will ye have, then which of the favors of your Lord will ye deny? When the sky is rent asunder, and it becomes red, like ointment, then which of the favors of your Lord will ye deny? On that day no question will be asked of man, are hidden beings. As to his sin, then which of the favors of your Lord will ye deny? For the sinners will be known by their marks, and they will be seized by their forelocks and their feet. Then which of the favors of your Lord will ye deny? And this is the hell which the sinners deny. In its midst and in the midst of boiling hot water will they wander round. Then which of the favors of your Lord will ye deny? But such as fear the time when they will stand before the judgment seat of their Lord. There will be two gardens. Then which of the favors of your Lord will ye deny? Containing all kinds of trees and delights. Then which of the favors of your Lord will ye deny? In them each will be two springs flowing free. Then which of the favors of your Lord will ye deny? In them will be fruits of every kind, two and two. Then which of the favors of your Lord will ye deny? They will recline on carpets whose inner linings will be of rich brocade. The fruit of the gardens will be near and easy of reach. Then which of the favors of your Lord will ye deny? In them will be Maidens, chaste, restraining their glances, whom no man or jinn before them is touched, then which of the favors of your Lord will ye deny? Like unto rubies and coral, then which of the favors of your Lord will ye deny? Is there any reward for good other than good? 
Then which of the favors of your Lord will ye deny? And besides these two, there are other two gardens. Then which of the favors of your Lord will ye deny? Dark green in color for plentiful watering. Then which of the favors of your Lord will ye deny? In them H will be two springs pouring forth water in continuous abundance. Then which of the favors of your Lord will ye deny? In them will be fruits and dates and pomegranates. Then which of the favors of your Lord will ye deny? In them will be fair companions. Good, beautiful, then which of the favors of your Lord will ye deny? Companions restrained as to their classes. In godly pavilions, then which of the favors of your Lord will ye deny? Whom no man are hidden being Jen. before them has touched, then which of the favors of your Lord will ye deny? Reclining on green cushions. And rich carpets of beauty, then which of the favors of your Lord will ye deny? Blessed be the name of thy Lord, full of majesty, bounty, and honor. And so we have the repetitions. Um, so these three, uh, you know, let's first rem remember that this is an effectual text. And we have this in the twain. So which of the favors of your Lord will ye twain deny? Of course, uh, this translation is not bringing out that aspect of it. But how many verses in the Quran mention the jinn? 31 verses. 88 verses mention the angels, but uh, the unfallen angels, but um, and also mentions that these jinn are of a different type of matter. So that's important to consider. Because when we say fallen, uh, when I say fallen angels, I say that to distinguish them. But they're distinguished, the fallen angels and the unfallen angels are distinct, uh, the malaka or the unfallen angels, the jinn are the fallen angels. Now, they were what they were before, uh, you know. Well, I mean, you know, they made a, made a choice, but um, so the gendered fire, uh, fire beings, as it's called, people say, well, what about the undines and the no, no, the uh, the elementals, those are jinn. The planetary, those are jinn. Um, the de jinn of grimoires and stuff like this. Okay, fine. Uh, people got to understand that that's not quite the same as saying the Arabic word, which doesn't just refer to some Arabian desert spirit or some ridiculous nonsense like that that you may have heard.